Ladies and gentlemen, geeks and nerds, today I'm going to show you how to build a super simple multi-floor bubble column elevator. And it's super flexible and uh, yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? With the release of 1.13, we now have these things, bubble columns. And here is one, and if you were to stand in it, it, it shoots you up pretty quickly up to the top. And how you build one of these things is a piece of soul sand underneath and then a whole column of water sources and it forms these bubbles that shoot you up. All right, so how do you make one of these? Well, it's super simple. You've got a few ways to do it. Um, all, you can, all you need to do is have water sources in here, as I said, and you can do that by either placing water directly with a water bucket in each, each of the squares, each of the, the blocks here. Uh, the other way you could do it is by having ice, placing ice in here and then, and then breaking it to form a water source. And the other way is a little trick that I'm going to show you that I first saw on Doc M77's channel. I'll put a link in the description. But the quick way to do it is if you put a water source right at the very top and then you'll get flowing water that goes all the way down. And then you need to get a kelp block and you can't place the kelp on the soul sand. So instead you need any other block will do. Get your kelp and just plant this all the way up to the top. And then jump down to the bottom again and when you break it, it turns all the flowing water into water sources. And now if I replace the block with our um, soul sand, you'll see now we have a bubble column. Woo -hoo. All right, so that's all well and good and awesome. And uh, lots of people have this in their base to go from one floor to the next. But what about if you have this set up? What about if you want to have a bubble column and you want to be able to have multiple floors and choose where you want to get out? So here on this, in this case, I've just added another floor in the center. And if I try to walk in here and then exit out, I always end up at the top. And there's the middle floor right there. Yeah, so it's quite hard to get out of the middle floor. Even if you push forward, you can't get out of there. So how do we do it? Well, there's this contraption over here. Now, before I show you uh, the contraption in detail and how it works, I just want to show you a couple of little uh, mechanics that we're going to use uh, that's going to make all this uh, all this work. So first of all, in this bubble column we have here, if we were to remove one of the water sources, and it's got to be the water source that's in line with your floor, so this one right here, if I just place a block, that now turns that into a flowing water right there. And now if I get into the bottom again, it handily stops me at this floor that we want to get out on. Of course, the problem now becomes, how do I get up to the top floor? If I go in, I just hang around here and in fact, just bobble around at this floor. So that is no good. But if I replace this, this uh, water source like this and step back in, I shoot up to the top again. And the other option we have, instead of replacing the water source, is to place a piece of soul sand here. And so here in this case, I would walk in and this has created a bubble column from this this block all the way up, just like so. The other mechanic we're going to use is something new in 1.13, and that is that observers can detect when you tap on a note block. So here I go, tap on the note block, and you can see that uh, the observer is facing the note block and it lights up uh, the lamp. So that is something we're gonna use in our contraption too. So let me explain how our floor selector works. We've replaced this water source right here with flowing water, as we've seen before. And so if we come up from the bottom of the elevator, we'll easily be able to get out at this floor. If you want to continue up, all you're gonna do is, is tap the note block. And what that is, what that is going to do is extend uh, this soul sand into where the, water, where the flowing water is, which creates another bubble column and then shoots you up to the next floor. And so all we need to do now is just repeat this for every floor you've got in your contraption. So let me give you a quick demonstration. If I go into the bottom, tap the note block, shoots me up again, now I'm at the top floor. So here is the note block that we tap on and we have two observers facing it here and here. Um, let's talk about the, the top one first. So that would see, uh, that would detect that you've tapped on the note block, which powers this block, which powers this piece of redstone dust, which powers this block, which powers this piston. And that shoots the block out and uh, leaves it out. So let me just show you that. If I tap on the note block, it, pu it pushes it out and leaves it there. And then as you just saw there, the, sec the other observer detects the tap as well, powers this block, which then goes into this string of repeaters all on max delay. And then that powers the piston for a second time, which pulls the block back again, just like this. 
And that's how we control uh, having a bubble column at each level. So the advantage of this design is that, first of all, it's nice and flush. So you can see there's no complicated buttons or trapdoors or anything like that on the outside. You just see these blocks that make part of your, your tube for your elevator. And it's also flexible in that if you have different distances between your floors, so here we have five blocks in between our floors, but over here we have 14 blocks between our floors. All we need to do is slightly extend uh, the time that the uh, soul sand is left out. So if you're gonna do this in your world, um, you just need to experiment with how long you need to leave the piston out and once you've worked it out um, It's just a case of making sure that the bubbles are still available long enough to shoot you up to the next floor So let me show you this one it works exactly the same way if I go into the bottom I shoot up to the floor tap the note block the soul sign comes out shoots me up to the next floor so let me give you a quick block by block tutorial on how to build one of these floor selectors and once you know how to do this you just have to build one for each floor in your base so first of all, start off with a note block and replace it right here. So this should be your head height for the, for the doorway to your elevator. And then underneath it, put an observer facing the note block. So break the block underneath and place the observer. So it's facing downwards like that. And then have another observer facing the note block from behind, just like that. And then if we do the, the uh, top first, place a block behind the observer and then one diagonally underneath it, just like that, with a piece of redstone dust on the top. And then in line with your floor that you want to get out on, place a piece of soul sand right here. And that's going to be shot out and placed here. Then just get a sticky piston and place that underneath this block right here, just like, just like this. So that should give us the soul sand shooting out when we tap the note block. Now we just need to add the circuit to pull it back again. So if we get uh, a normal block and place it underneath the observer like here, and then have a few blocks that come out, this is going to hold our repeaters. And in this case, we're going to need uh, a few. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, and link them up some redstone dust and put these on max delay, just like this. So as I said, depending on how the distance between your floors, this will depend on how many repeaters you need. If you end up with a really big distance between your floors, then you might want to consider a different delay uh, circuit right here that's more compact. Uh, but for most cases, I suspect uh, a few repeaters will be enough. So now let's give it a try and let's make sure that this block right here is not a water source. So let's give this thing a try. Let's see if we can go up to the top. Let's go into the bottom. Tap our first note block, up again, tap the second note block, and then we can conveniently get out of the top and choose a floor that we want to get out on. And so there you have it, a super simple multi-floor bubble column elevator. There'll be a world download in the description if you want to uh, have a look at this world for yourself. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me build this in survival in a huge Death Star over the void in the end, then check out episode 46 in my Road to Hermitcraft series. And so that's about it. So if you uh, enjoyed the video and you found it useful, then please leave a like. And if you'd like to see some more videos like this, then think about subscribing. And uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions or questions, then please get it in that comment section. Until next time, my geeks, I will see you later.